Welcome back to another charger review. Today I have the Olight Universal USB magnetic charger. Bit of a mouthful, but this looks like quite an interesting charger. So we'll run through the details on the front of the packaging. You can see here it supports the AAs, AAAs, and a variety of lithium cells from the smaller right up to the larger ones. On the back of the packaging, we can see some more detailed information on this. They're recommending an input of uh, 800 milliamps, and the maximum output is rated at 750 milliamps. Now, taking this out of the packaging, you just pull open the back area and pull it through. It doesn't take too long to get access to the charger. Once we have it out now, we can take a closer look. The cable length on this is around about 23 centimeters or nine inches, and it's using a flat type cable on the bottom section. Then you have a divided section with round cables. There's the USB tip with the protector. And on the back here, we have the output rating, 4.2 volts or 1.45 volts, 750 milliamps. The section here is plastic, but it feels quite good density. And then just looking over the cable and the splitter here is a aluminum or metal now the two tips here are magnetic, you can see the contacts, and they are quite strong. So when you have a cell that you put next to it, they really snap into place and they hold the cell very firmly. You can also reverse these, they detect the polarity themselves, so there's no chance of making any mistakes. The unit does that for you. Also, you can see me shaking that, they doesn't come off easily. You can also store the two tips together if you wish. This is a smaller lithium cell that I'm just trying now. You can see it fits that perfectly. Now what I've done here is attached it to a lithium power bank, a portable power bank. And I'm putting an AnyLoop cell here for charging. When you're charging a cell, you'll see the red LED come on in that section. Just above the dongle, there's a clear section there. It's quite clear and very easy to see. I'm also going to try a large 26650 here. And you can see that's completed charging, it turns to green. Now for the charging tests that I've done, nickel metal hydride, I found the maximum charging rate was about 0.25 to 0.3 amps. It starts at a slow rate for the first few minutes and then it ramps up the charging speed. You can see the uh, variation in the amperage, that's because it's pulse charging, which is the ideal charging for this type of cell. Quick voltage test on the completed charge of 1.46 volts, which is ideal. We're looking for 1.45 up to 1.5, so that's spot on. For the lithium cell test now, I'm using a 18650, and we have a charging speed which goes up to around about 0 0.71, 0 0.74 of an amp. That's the highest speeds that I saw with this, so it's pretty much on the spec for the lithium charging. What I'm going to do now is, once that's completed, as it has here, take that out and I'm going to do another voltage test. This cell terminated the voltage exactly what I would look for with a good lithium charger at 4.19 to 4.2 volts. So that's absolutely spot on. So you have a full charge in that cell. That's about as good as you can get for a lithium charge. As this is USB, you can also use it with a solar panel if you have enough light or power and um, also other items, anything with a USB port or computer or even a car charger. You can see the red LED coming on here, which indicates that the solar panel is charging it. One limitation is that you can't use it with the custom Olight batteries. You will see two contact points on these particular types of cell. You can see the positive in the middle and the negative around the side. So you can't use it with those. That's about the only limitation. Wrapping up with a quick summary on the Olight magnetic USB charger. Mostly I like this, I think it's a very good idea. Um, I'll start with a couple of disadvantages. I would have increased the nickel metal hydride charging speed a bit, possibly up to around about 400 or even slightly higher. That would make it a bit quicker for charging higher capacity AAs. You can't use this with the custom Olight batteries or the lithium ion phosphates, but that's not really a huge issue. The main advantage would be the ability to charge a wide range of cells. It's plug and play, very easy to use, and you can't make any mistakes. It corrects the polarity itself, it won't overcharge, and even if you put the contact points together, it won't cause any damage at all. Um, it's fully automatic. Uh, also, the charge quality was very good, much better than I was expecting. Not all chargers put a full charge into batteries, but these certainly do. And their small size makes it an ideal companion for traveling in a bag or even possibly in the glove box of a car.